Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of BGC Source with me, your host Stephen McInerney. Before we dive into today's PlayStation and Microsoft related headlines, I want to say make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like while you're at it as well. Anyway, let's get into today's headlines. Now it looks like hackers have discovered a native PlayStation 1 emulator for PS4, and we could be seeing some Japanese games in Xbox's big showcase this week. Before we dive into Microsoft, we're going to start with PlayStation and the news that hackers have found a native PS1 emulator inside the PS4. This was found in the game files for the 2019 remaster of Medieval. Now the emulator, which will only run on modified PlayStation 4 consoles, can be used to play several original PlayStation games at up to 4K resolution. The PS1 emulator was discovered following the release of a new firmware exploit, which allowed modders to dump Medieval and explore its game files. Hackers then found out that the unlockable PS1 version of Medieval included in the remaster was being powered by the emulator. Now despite some compatibility issues, fans so far have been able to play other games on the PS4, including Konami Silent Hill, Spyro the Dragon and Wipeout 3. It is likely that the official PS1 emulator is used to run the selection of classic games available on the PlayStation store. And of course back in 2018 Sony released the retro console the PlayStation Classic which hackers were quickly able to modify to play ROMs of any PS1 title. And putting all that retro tinge news behind us and moving very firmly into next gen territory, Xbox boss Phil Spencer suggested that Japanese developed games could feature in the Xbox Series X showcase this week. When asked by Zhu Video about the importance of Japanese games, Spencer said, I'm proud of what we're going to show on the 23rd. I like our roadmap of working directly with Japanese creators to build great Xbox games. You'll hear more about that in the future. Now this won't come as a surprise if you have been following Phil Spencer's comments. He has suggested before that he wants to see an improvement in Xbox's position in Japan. Earlier this year, the Xbox boss said that he felt the platform's market position in Japan wasn't acceptable and pledged to do a much better job with the Series X launch in the region. It was later confirmed that Xbox Series X would launch in Japan during the 2020 holiday season. Spencer has also stated multiple times that he'd like to add a Japanese developer to Xbox's first party studio lineup in order to create content that better appeals to the Japanese audience. In the Zhu video interview, Spencer said the Xbox Japan team had been working really hard to build relationships relationships with developers in the region. He went on to add, we know gamers worldwide want amazing games from some of the best creators in the world and we know many of those are Japanese creators. I've been proud of our progress that we've made over the past four or five years. At E3 we've always had a really strong showing of Japanese created games on our stage. We know it's critically important to our strategy to make sure that amazing creators in Japan feel that Xbox is a platform where they can have success. And you can understand Phil Spencer's comments based off market research company IDC. Now IDC claimed that the global sales of Xbox One only account to 0.3% in that region. In Famitsu's annual sales report for 2018, it's claimed that Xbox One sold just 15,339 units during the entire year compared to 1.7 million for PlayStation 4 and 3.5 million for Switch. Unfortunately, that's all we got time for on this episode of BGC Source. Do let us know down in the comments what you make of today's headlines and check out the first ever episode of BGC Off The Record right here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, give this video a like and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.